Hey, glad you can make it. Because today we are playing more Terraria, and we've got Purple Mint and Fenvara, and sadly no um, Phoenix again today. Yep, and the Frost Legion is incoming as we left on that cliffhanger last time. They'll be here any second now, and they're going to die so horribly. It's going to go bad for yes. them. Yes, kind of do. You know what? I'm going to go check on the jungle farm while they finish showing up and you guys start clearing them. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing they're supposedly supposed to be here. They just keep dying. <laughs> yeah, we've got a good event arena set up. They do make nice crunchy sounds when they die. Oh, Oops. we never flipped it back to where the jungle farm could spawn more plants and things could spread. Die. Derp, derp. Yep. I only died to our traps. Yes, you, you cannot go down there and... Uh, um, do anything. I can if I'm quick about it and talk to the nurse right afterward. <laughs> Backstabber. Tiny little dagger. That thing's ridiculous. And the projectiles are so slow. Yeah, I know. I think weird. it makes them pretty. See, I, I use this, and it's like... extremely fast, and then I go... But the difference in damage, well, I don't know. I can't the see it. I can't even see the damage. Like, there's too many damage numbers. Right. Well, they, these do 105, and then the cornet does 84. But these are so slow, I think the cornet's still better. And see, it makes all the little curves. It's like it's trying to write in cursive. Oh my god. Finn, you're going to be so happy with this thing. Oh yeah? I just threw it at you. <laughs> Uh-oh. What did Finn get? The hail oh, that's bomber. that's adorable. That is adorable. Here, we've got like six more of them. Have one, Seth. <laughs> the hail bomber? Yes, they don't jump down through platforms on their own. So. And it doesn't auto fire. But you can summon them pretty quickly. Cute. I like it. <laughs> uh, the, the name of that achievement, though. What achievement was that? Do you want to slay a snowman? <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, I see a banjo over there. Yeah, I'm sh I've shut the traps off. It'll take a minute for the spiky balls to disappear. I got curious. So I have to check out the Eskimo Banjo. Releases a deep freeze bouncing ice wave. Okay. Whee. Every bounce frost burns nearby enemies. That's kind of cool. Neat. All right. So there's the Frost Legion. You got your goodies from it. Uh, yes. Back to searching the jungle for the temple, I guess, because getting those jungle temple um, items would be very helpful. Hell bombers a material. Ah, it's part of the conjurous soul. Aha! So it was actually necessary. Ish. <laughs> Ish. We needed to Con do it eventually. We didn't need to do it now. I'm willing to accept that. <laughs> Oh, whoops. All right, uh, bags of potential into Extractinator. Come on, life quartz. Never get as much life quartz as you want. If you want all of the life quartz, that is not how much you get. Yeah, well, more life quartz means more life fruit. 
I'm at 500 now, so any further life fruit I get, I'll be throwing into the box. The magic box of holding. Yay. Uh, let's see. If I remember right, I right-click this thing? Yes, good. Whew! Because <laughs> uh, if you left-click, everything comes pouring out all at once. And I don't want to do that on top of Finn. <laughs> Doesn't it? Ah, uh, not anymore. Ah. Huh. Where it used to just empty. Don't suppose you happen to pick up any money from that event, did you? Oh, uh, here. Hooray! Have some coin. And, uh, we need to get another discount card. Can we craft these? Uh, yes, we can craft discount cards out of post-pirate loot tokens. So make yourself a discard, discount card. Discard count. Yes. Discount card. Oh, yeah. That. Greedy ring can be made with the coin. Can we make the coin ring the same way? Uh, coin ring is coin ring plus discount. No, that's greedy ring. Coin ring can be made with gold ring and lucky coin. Lucky coin can be crafted the same way. Fantastic. All right, so we need post pirate loot tokens. Right, this says that we have no post pirate to loot tokens. How That's we correct. Those? We craft them from post mechanical boss loot tokens. We were never oh, in a okay. point where we were post pirate, but not post mechanical boss. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. So I'm crafting uh, a whole bunch of them. <laughs> And then I'm making myself the, uh, because I've already got a gold ring and a uh, discount card. I'm going to finish making myself the greedy ring. Oh, that, that discount is nice. Because that combines all of them. Erg. <laughs> what? Someone took my discount card. There you go. That was by accident. I was hitting the wrong discount card on the wrong thing. So now I'm making one. Oh my god. There. I have a greed ring. I need to never interact with this system while someone else is at the same time. <laughs> uh, that, that is frustrating. What happened? The fact that I took it by accident? Y yes. Oh, okay. Things didn't stay where they were supposed to. Because huh, I put it back. Yes, but, um, so I can't, like, it doesn't work as a tree, so I have to look up each item individually. So I tried to look up the green ring, greed ring, but then I had to look up the coin ring, but then I had to look up the gold coin so that I could then make the coin ring so that I can combine the coin ring and the discount card to make the greed ring. But then my discount card disappeared, so I tried to look up discount card to make a new discount card, but then it was back. Okay, I get it. I understand. <laughs> like, I love this system, but um, it doesn't necessarily work great when multiple people are trying to use it at the same time. Right. Uh, Understood. 21, 48, 65. Yeah, the turtle gear is a significant upgrade for me. What else can we do with chlorophyte that we haven't yet? I'm a turtle, I'm a turtle. Very nice. Right. So we need to go into the jungle and look for the temple, correct? Yes. What the okay. Is that like a team thing? Because I almost forgot we were recording. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're recording. I didn't realize. And my next step up is the beetle gear, which I need multiple beetle husks, which drop from the golem. Okay. At least, unless there's probably some thorium stuff that we need to research another time, but now's not that time. 
you know, we're kind of getting all kind of back into it again because between holiday and well, all the stuff that's been going on. Yeah. Moving, Thanksgiving, illnesses, Apollo Cat losing their job. Yeah. Uh, life has been chaos lately. For everybody here. Wish I could. And those, those not here, too. <laughs> uh, we need a teleporter going to the jungle, don't we? I need to not do that, actually. I need to take the time and set up a proper port network. I also need to make myself some more thorns potions, because I'm out. Or, I'm low. Not out. What else am I low on? Just thorns. Okay. Of course we don't have the materials. Why would we have the materials? To make what? Thorns potions. We don't have any death weed in there. Okay. How have we actually managed to run out of some... Oh, because no one ever harvests. And we can only harvest that on the blood moon. Is there a way for me to summon a blood moon? Bet there is. Summon Blood Moon just long enough to uh, harvest Death Weed, then dismiss Blood Moon by making it morning. It's, that's that's pretty nice. It, it, it is pretty nice having like control over the cosmos. <laughs> Shade Band. Every eighth magic cast costs no mana. Cute. There. Now my thorns potions are replenished, and I feel better. Oh, and the other cool thing that we can do, now that we've got, uh, um, we're starting to get the solar drops. I don't know how exactly those drop. I need to research that. But with the solar drops, I think that we can make... Nope. Not called a solar potion. Hang on. Solar drop is used to make sunlight potion, which is an improved version of the uh, two potions we have put together: the the night owl and the shine potion. Yeah, there we go. Fortunately, it looks like each one takes five solar drops. Hmm. All right. I gotta research how to get lots of those then. Give me just a moment. I'm grabbing the wiki. Blue Magic Terraria Solar Drop. Also known as Elemental Unleashed because it's Blue Magic's uh, endgame bosses mod from Blue, uh, Blue She Magic, the mod creator. Alright. I don't like stingers. Once you defeat Plantera, most monsters will start dropping new. Drops of liquid. Surface monsters drop solar drops during day. Lunar drops during night. Horror drops during a blood moon or an eclipse. And these can be crafted into ruins that change the time of day or toggle the blood moon or solar eclipse. Okay, so the horror drops are just used to make the uh, it's a blood moon or it's a solar eclipse. Neat. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, just need to kill a bunch of surface monsters to make more sunlight potions. I'll get on that between episodes. Let me add that to the thing. The, the, um, the, the Google Doc. That works. As our current information in there is basically useless.
excited to say that I now have all of the summons. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, I've got I've got ten. Okay. Which right. I feel like is a lot. It is. Definitely is. Six minutes of sunshine. All right. Uh, need what? Mostly need the jungle. Need to find the jungle temple. I'm going down one of our thingies and haven't seen it yet. We've got a uh, subway that cuts all the way through the jungle, don't we? Yep. I've been looking there and like done one of the the holes that was made can't remember the name what what was used to make it but the thing that automatically makes a elevator yes i think that we in intentionally spaced those around the jungle so that we would hopefully not um cut through the temple right If we even considered it. It's definitely a good potential uh, um, cheat if you're looking for a shortcut ahead. Get into the jungle well, I can, temple early. I can definitely say that uh, we did not penetrate the temple with the... Uh, Instavators. Uh, the That's what they're called. Instavators. That's what it is. Eh, I'm not too worried about it. It'll turn up. There's but so many places it can possibly hide. If I remember right, it's usually fairly deep in the cavern layer of the jungle. So, I'm going to try going down and starting from the bottom. Five hundred. I'm divert, trying to divert for chlorophyte and uh, um, life fruit that I notice. But, you know, that's the that I notice kicking in again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, digging through the jungle, digging through the jungle. Found a plantera ball. Yeah, I keep finding those, and actually a few times they found me. Oh, the walking ones? Those are weird. Yeah. Picking a Plantera. Good luck! I don't know who woke it up. I did. Oh. I don't anticipate having too much trouble. Could be wrong, though. I'd like it more if I uh, had my... Uh, Potions in my inventory, but I don't. Or more room to dodge. That'd be good, too.
And if it didn't have 80,000 hit points and no Finn here to help. Sorry. Well, you're our DPS. You're the one that does, like, most of the damage of our group. Well, I try to. So what are you doing while we're dying? Um, well, I was falling and trying to stop falling in this case. No, I had to get my wormhole potions out of my bag. Wait, where, where are you? I poured it out because I was almost dead and Saf was dead. Ah. Because it was that or die. Right. And I didn't want to sit here for a minute, not able to do anything, fuming about being dead. This makes sense to me. Wish the sharpening stone lasted longer, or there was a sharpening stone buff. Like a potion. Did the cook ever go where he belongs? Probably not. We haven't been out of the um, base at night. There he is. Because I need to buy more... What is it? Apple pies? I don't even know what the one we're supposed to get anymore is. Uh, pumpkin pie? And you cook... You make them yourself? You don't buy them? Oh, okay. And there should be a ton in the system already, hopefully. <laughs> Why, yes, there is. Flask of Cursed Flame is my best bet, but somehow we're out of water bottles. I didn't do it. Where is our sink? Oh, it's actually in the system. Never mind then. <sighs> you. Oh yeah, I remember putting the sink in the system. <laughs> yeah, I had it not as one of the crafting tables because it's really only useful for a couple of small things. But it's fine. Oh, right. I put it in there when I was making those water candles for the uh, battle enchant thingy. Iron skin potion. We can make bubble shield once we have bubbles. Right. The rest of the blue magic stuff requires us to kill multiple uh, creature, uh, kill like event creatures to get those details. Um. Okay. So we're still. Hmm. Do we want to go show the hard mode dungeon and like killing for ectoplasms before we fall off? Because we've done enough of the, like, showing the farming around in the dungeon on screen, I feel like. That makes sure. sense. And then we're going to have a bunch of, like, just farming and killing stuff to happen off screen to get enough of the materials to do all the things that we want. I am flying my way to the dungeon now. Okay. Once you, once you get there, I will teleport to you. Same here. We're making you do all the work. 
Well, I'm still, I'm still doing things. I'm, st I, I'd already made it back to the dungeon, so I'm just exploring while you're on the way there. You're in back to the jungle. That's what I meant. If I see lava, am I too low? Maybe. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I found it. Cool. I don't suppose you have a teleporter with you. Um, but no. At least you <laughs> found it, so you can lead us back to it later, right? Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Um, well, let's see. I'm looking at the map where it's at. Yeah. Okay. It's directly below the granite biome. In I went the too far. I went too far. Well, you could always uh, do that one thing where you make it easier for you to spot it on your own map by putting a bunch of torches down. It's true. I can do that. There we go. Dungeon. Excellent. Yeah, I forgot we built ourselves a little spot here when we thought that uh, Elatron was hard. <laughs> There's some weird <laughs> fake wrong blocks. and I, I think that the um, T mod loader upgrade broke some things somehow, or maybe one of the mod updates did. I don't know which it was, but something went wrong. All right, so what are, we, what are we showing off here again? Uh, well, we're, we need to get the ectoplasm from the dungeon, right? Okay. And to do that, we need to come into the dungeon and kill stuff. Specific stuff. When we kill things in the dungeon, they can spawn dungeon spirits... And those dungeon spirits are what drop the ectoplasm. We're also looking for specific monsters in the dungeon. Uh, like um, the paladin. And a couple of others. And if we had remembered to bring the keys with us, we can unlock the keys now. We can unlock the uh, various biome chests now. Okay, I think I just found a... Well... You may have mentioned it, and I may have not heard it, but I think there's a silver lining to the fact that the traps acted up. Oh? I'm not seeing any on the ground. There weren't like a We have not hit any spikes. Uh, Finn and I came through here and mined the place for spikes. So that oh. we could have- we could make a bunch of the traps that are now gone. Okay. Well, that would explain things, then. Dark matter? What the crap? Uh, yeah. Dark matter from Thorium. It's used to make a uh, set of bard gear, because freaking everything is for bards. Um, <laughs> clarinet, bassoon, and then Fulv's Ancient Gear, which is a magic set. It also makes a summon. Once we have Night Alloy and Stardust, so that's a ways out, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Spell, throwing weapon, and a throwing set. But yeah, the there's three different sets of things that can spawn in the jungle. And what spawns in what area is based on the background. I don't actually remember what the backgrounds, uh, what the different backgrounds do. But I do know that we are going to need to kill. Oh, here we are. Now I'm in the place I want to be because this is paladin territory. So this background that I'm in front of right now is where the paladins spawn. And I need the paladin's uh, shield. Is that it? No. No, that was Holy Knight Alloy, which is healer class stuff. Which would also be awesome if we had a healer. Oh, apparently I can use it to craft the Paladin Shield, though, so I don't have to just get lucky and have it drop. 
Well, once I have the uh, Paladin shield, I'll be able to actually, like, take damage for you guys. We won't just be relying on uh, getting lucky with things targeting me instead of you. Sadly, the Paladin is not a super common spawn. I should look into re-modeling uh, the dungeon to make things spawn more commonly. But Paladin shield. At the same time, I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> Cool. Oh, I have one for you whenever I get to you. We still need enough of the uh, um, Holy Knight's Alloy, which we can't craft, to... Uh, it only drops from the Paladin, to be able to craft the f Paladin's gear. Your shield is below you. Excellent. And then the Paladin shield I can actually combine with my... Onk shield, I believe. Oh, hey, look. You can craft the Paladin shield with the post plantera loot tokens. Craziness. Uh, yeah. The Holy Aegis I can make. And that is part of the Terrarium Defender. But yeah, I'll let me absorb 25% of damage done to nearby uh, teammates. Yay, more ectoplasm. And then the ectoplasm is used for a wide variety of uh, materials. Specter bars, um, the pumpkin moons, the naughty presents. Ah, I can use them to craft truffle, truffle worms. wonder what adds that in. Flask. Ooh, I should try out that flask of ethereal flames. Melee attacks inflect ethereal flames. We can make you the organ, which gives damage reduction one buff. Bang. Uh, that was my microphone. <laughs> I accidentally hit the stand whenever I was trying to scratch my nose. It's that time. Yes, it is. I thought there was another material we made. Oh, yeah, we can make the concentrated thorium now that we've got the ectoplasm. And that's used to make, like, five different materials. The Harbinger Catalyst, the Dread Soul, the... Uh, Demon Blood Shard and the Berserker Shard. So we've got a lot of uh, farming of these things to go and a whole bunch of uh, um, just getting all kinds of stuff between now and next episode that needs to happen. There's a lot of killing in the dungeon. We, we might do a little bit of remodeling the dungeon, as I mentioned. But yeah. I guess that's all for today. Yeah, I guess that's it. So, uh, thanks in advance for the thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. I've been Saf. I've been Finvara. And I've been Purple Mint Dad. And you've been Dungeoned. Later. <laughs>